how to search for things on Google or do a Google search as we call it. This is going to be a quick, easy tutorial. I'm going to teach you some tricks. It's going to be extremely uh, easy and an excellent tutorial for beginners and uh, people who just aren't very comfortable with their Google searches or they feel it takes too long. And uh, anyway, I'm very excited to teach this. So number one thing, I'm using the Safari browser just for the sake of this uh, tutorial. Some people will use Google Chrome, some people will use Firefox, you know, and a web browser is basically the program that lets you search the internet. So I'm using the web browser Safari. You can use whatever you want to. If you're new to your Mac and you don't know where to find your web browser, go down to your dock uh, and if you see Launchpad here, just click once on that and then uh, look for this symbol which is the Safari right here and just click once on that and it'll open up and show you this. So let's get right into Google. So let's say for example I wanted to find out um, what Italian restaurants are in Halifax. I could write out what Italian restaurants are near me uh, or are in Halifax. I could do that but that's a lot of typing. And the good news is, is that Google is an extremely smart uh, searching program, so you can just actually type Italian restaurant Halifax, and you don't even have to keep typing. As soon as you start to see that Google is figuring out what you're looking for, you can just move your mouse down and left mouse click or uh, tap or click once using your trackpad, and then boom, you've got your information. And then you can just scroll down and take a look at, you know, TripAdvisor's 10 best Italian restaurants, uh, you know, a lot of TripAdvisor stuff. And, you know, or you can click on any one of these. You can see that they have ratings. This one's going to close soon because it's late today when I'm doing this recording. So that's it. Uh, oftentimes people try to do full sentences and you don't need to. I'll give you another example. Let's say you wanted to find the definition of a word. I'm going to do a simple one. It'll be cat. So instead of saying what is the definition of the word cat, all you have to do is say definition cat. And you have the definition right here. It's that easy. You don't need capitals. You don't need periods. It doesn't check to see if you're um, grammatically correct. Now on top of that, you can also, uh, I'm just deleting this information. There you go. You can also ask it to do math how many cups in a liter and there you go you have this right here and now I can actually click here and change liter to gallon it's very 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 easy now let's go back to cats for example as an example so definition cat and we have the definition here but you notice we've got all these other options here and all of these options are going to now relate to whatever you put in. So if I go to images, we see cats. If I go to videos, we see crazy stuff about cats. Uh, if I go to news, it's going to be news about cats. And that's it. That is how you do Google searching. One last little thing. If you wanted, a lot of people that start with computers do things like they type in Facebook so they can go to Facebook. But you don't need to type it into a Google search and then go, you know, and then go into whatever you need to go into. Uh, you know, go down here, then click log into Facebook. You don't need to go through all of that. Uh, that's my email. And all you have to do is every web browser up in the center is where you would enter what we call an address, a web address. Facebook has an address just like your home has an address. And Facebook, its address is facebook.com. That's it. So if you know the name of the website, then you can easily enter it in and type .com. So for example, I'm going to go apple.com. And we're there. So all you need to do is add a .com. If it's an American, it's .com. If it's Canadian, it's .ca. So if I want, if I'm in Canada and I wanted to order something from uh, uh, Amazon, I would probably order it from the Canadian version of Amazon. So I would type Amazon .ca, and you see it right there. 
And that's about it. I hope you had an I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and many, many, many more going to come. And in the comments below, if you have any questions or would like to see specific videos, uh, just leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe.